Good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Tanika Maria here, all about helping high achieving women of faith get real, be healed, and move on in emotional resiliency, mastery, emotional healing, especially after seasons of transitions and going through a lot. Blessings to you all. Thank you for being here. And today, what I wanted to share with you on this video five quick ways to, to deal with things when things did not go quite as planned this Thanksgiving as you wanted them to do. So this video is for you if things didn't quite pan out the way you expected over the Thanksgiving holiday. I'll give people a few more moments to come on in, but blessings to you. Thank you for being here. And I just wanted to share this because I realized sometimes we have expectations that are not met and different things that we're believing for, different things that we expect it to be a little bit different and it didn't pan out the way we wanted them to. So number one, real quick, and again, my name is Tanika Maria and I'm a certified Christian life coach and my specialty is in emotional healing, awareness, and of course, relationships. So the first tip, if things did not go the way you planned for them to go this past Thanksgiving, number one, be honest. Be honest with yourself. Don't over-spiritualize it. Don't sweep it under the rug, but feel all your feelings and be honest about the angst. Be honest about the sadness. Be honest about the anxiety involved, right? Don't sweep it under the rug and realize emotions are a gauge, but they are not your guide. Let me say that one again. Emotions are a gauge, not a guide. So feel them, but don't do anything with it just yet, right? Let them guide you into what's really going on. So don't act on it. The emotions are a gauge, not a guide, but you definitely need to feel them and be honest and don't over-spiritualize what you're going through if you've been disappointed in this Thanksgiving season. Number two, number two, stop looking at what other people are doing. Stop looking at what other people are are doing, especially those that have what you want. It's real. Sometimes, and even if you love them, you care for them, you're happy for them, but if someone is sporting and flossing on Instagram, the very thing that you've been praying for, working for, believing God for, you still don't have it yet. You are a human being, right? You are a human being. And why trigger yourself unnecessarily? Why trigger yourself unnecessarily? Don't look at what someone else has until you're in a better frame of mind to be able to, to watch it, right? So this especially helps to guard your heart. It guards your heart and your mind until you're able to get yourself together. And again, you care and you're happy, but it's hard when you're working and you're not getting the same results. It's hard when you're trying to do your best and live right and, you, and God has not answered your prayer and you come into Thanksgiving, you still don't have it and you see other people. So number two, if things didn't go the way you planned, and this is for you if you're in business and you had a Black Friday sale and you're out here on Cyber Monday, no sales, okay? Don't be looking and staring at everybody else who does. Take your time and be honest about it and heal from it. So number two, stop looking at what other people are doing. This is for those that are getting engaged and you've been wanting to be married and it seems like everybody else is booed up right now and you're not booed up. Stop looking at it. Number three, accept human nature and human behavior for what it is. People will be people. They're going to do what they want to do. And we are so engrossed in our own worlds and what we have going on. I got my own projects, my own ideas, my own prayer requests before God. I got all the stuff God is dealing with me about. I got my family issues, my relationship issues. I got stuff going on on my job. I'm trying to launch this business. I have a ministry. I got all this stuff going on. I got my own health concerns. I got bills to pay. I got emails and notifications. And if people are like that, then what's going on with you is not their top priority, right? Your problem, your idea, your business, your product, your goals, your projects, your relationships, your priorities, your fact, all of that is not your top, someone else's top priority. And if you're an entrepreneur, then we have to face the fact that not everybody is our target audience. And even the people that support us and encourage us, they may be doing it out of just because they want to be nice and be supportive. But what you have may not even be what they really need. We have to face it. If, I, if my, so my friends and my family are not my target audience, I can't. I have to let go of that expectation, right? 
If my friends and my family are not my target audience, and we're talking about today on what to do if Thanksgiving didn't pan out the way you wanted it to, right? Hey there, Brand X. We're talking about what to do. Then we have to remember that people are people. Their projects, dreams, goals, prayer requests, issues, dynamics, what God is dealing with them and talking to them about and what they got going on may not be your top priority, the top priority for them. And so remember this, you have to love, and this goes in terms of relationships as well, right? What, what happens in our family situations, what's happening um, in our friendships and our dynamics. The reality is if you were expecting Thanksgiving to go a certain way, and it didn't go the way you thought it was going to go. People, again, are going to be people. And we want, want them to change. But think about how hard it is for you to change. Think about the fact that we all, every single last one of us, have deeply, deeply ingrained stuff that's inside of us from childhood that we've absorbed into ourselves when we were even unconscious and unaware. When we're three and four and five years old, we're not conscious and aware of what we're processing emotionally. And the same people that's getting on your nerves, the same people that you love, that you expect, that you thought that Thanksgiving was gonna go one way and it went a whole entire different direction or it didn't pan out the way you wanted it to, those same people that you love that, that are exhibiting the same behaviors, they have that deeply ingrained same stuff that you do. And the way you try to change yourself, like I'm going before God, I may be getting coaching, I may be getting therapy, I'm reading books, I'm listening to videos, I'm, I'm researching, I'm trying to do better and work on myself. Well, you know how hard that is for you to change? Then what do you expect from the people that are around you that love you and that you love? It's hard to change. What I'm talking about is what happens and what do you do when Thanksgiving didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen? When people didn't act the way you wanted them to act? When you didn't make the sales you thought you were gonna make? When stuff didn't pan out the way you thought it was? Number three, I said too, the first one was be honest about what you're feeling. Number two, stop looking at what other people are doing and what they have. And number three, you gotta accept human nature and human, human behavior for what it is. So even with God's help, it's a lot for us to change ourselves. So what makes we think, what makes us think that people can change and adapt to us so quickly? Right? Amen. Number four, and then I'm done because I only had five tips. I'm, on, I'm only going to be out here for a short while. Number four, cultivate the long view or the elevated perspective. Cultivate the long view or the elevated perspective, right? And so this is a question like, okay, so I'm in this situation and what is the high, God, what are you doing? How are you refining my character in this? What is the lesson here? What, what is the wisdom here? Well, like, because if I keep tripping every Thanksgiving on the same issue with the same people in the same situation from the same dynamic, I'm not getting the lesson. I keep getting bent out of shape. I keep getting discombobulated over the same thing, the elevated perspective. That's right. If I'm still tripping, then I haven't changed, which means I'm bound to repeat the same cycle, which means that the same situation, see what has to happen is I have to change on the inside. I have to change my perspective and what I'm, my, my own thinking and feeling nature has to change on the inside. That's what Christ does in us. That's what the new man, our thinking and our feeling nature begins to change. So if my stuff is still changing, if my, my thinking and feeling nature has not changed, when I come to the same situation, Thanksgiving 2022, then I'm going to repeat the same responses and the same reactions. But if I take the elevated perspective and I change my thinking, and when I change my thinking, my feelings will follow, then I'll have that elevated perspective and I can shift that dynamic, right? So number four, cultivate the long view, cultivate the elevated perspective. And if I don't, I'm going to repeat it again next Thanksgiving. Number five, and I'm done. Ask for wisdom. Ask for wisdom. So if I keep going around this mountain, what is it that I don't know that I need to know? What am I missing, God? Why am I still going through this? Why every Thanksgiving I got all these icky feelings? 
Why every Thanksgiving I'm feeling in the same defeated spot? What is it? Am I willing to pay the price to shift it? Am I willing to do something different? Because see, we want stuff to be fat, better fast and quick. But I've learned, number one, God doesn't work like that. And even though I'm praying and I'm believing and I'm doing my part the best I know how, there's something else that's missing. There's something else that's missing. And when we begin to pray for the blessings of God, and I heard this on a, on a meme, on a video somewhere the other day, there is a backside to every blessing. There is a backside to that blessing you're praying for. And if I haven't walked into it yet, there's something in my character. There's something in me that needs to be developed. There's something inside of me that's not quite ready for it. Because God's goodwill, his good pleasure is to give me the kingdom. His good pleasure is to see me prosper. His good pleasure is for me to have all things that are conducive to life and to godliness, which I already have. But if it's not manifested in my life, then I haven't fully counted the cost of the backside of the blessing. So God says, you want this blessing. You want things to be different. You want things to be changed. Or you, you need to be praying for this. You're praying for one thing, but you don't see that, that prayer requires you to do this, this, that, and the other. You're going to have to come up higher in how you're showing up. Your thinking has to change. How you feel about people has to change. How you show up has to change. Uh, the drama and the trauma, we got to let it go. So it's like, ask for wisdom. What to do when Thanksgiving didn't turn out the way you wanted it to? When people didn't act right? When certain things didn't happen the way you anticipated for it to happen? What do you do? Number one, you got to be honest about what you feel. And here's a recap. Don't over-spiritualize it and try to be so deep. If you're mad, you're mad. If you're pissed off, you're pissed off. If you're anxious and tore up on the inside, be honest with that. God can handle your honesty. Number two, stop looking at what everybody else is doing. Stop looking at everybody flossing and glossing and putting up these glossy pictures. Stop it. Don't trigger yourself unnecessarily. Wait till you get to a better place of mind and emotions. Yes, you're happy for them. Yes, you can bless them and you care for them. But if you know your heart's starting to feel jelly, you're getting that jealous, stop it. Don't look at other people while your heart is still in this kind of a mis mixed up place. Wait until you're in a better frame of mind and emotions, right? Number three, accept human nature for what it is. People are caught up in their own world. And I heard the phrase, and I think it's funny, that they're in their own world and, and you're just a squirrel, honey. <laughs> That's jacked up, but it's true. I got my own ideas, my own prayer requests, my own struggles, my own projects, my own family issues, my own health issues, my, my business ideas, what God told me to do, my ministry, my mama, my children, these people, my notifications, my job, my projects, blah, blah, blah. Well, just think everybody else in your world got the same thing and their bills and their finances and this, that, and the third. So people are not going to show up the way you intend for them to. We have to accept people for where they are. Don't take stuff so personal, right? Number four, what did I say? I forgot my fourth one, right? My fourth one was cultivate the long perspective. God, what in my character do you need that, that needs to be refined? What is it in this situation that I'm not seeing? This is four and five. And God, give me the wisdom. So this is what to do. If Thanksgiving didn't pan out the way you thought it was. And this is for you if you're an entrepreneur, you didn't get the sales you wanted, you didn't get the exposure you wanted. This is for you if you were not in a relationship and you're seeing everybody boot up. You don't have, just stuff didn't happen the way you wanted it to. Go back and catch the top of this. And again, my name is Tanika Maria. I'm all about getting real, being healed, and moving forward. In order to be healed, I got to get real. For me to go through emotional transitions and, and, and life issues and struggles, I have to have emotional resiliency, emotional awareness, and I got to be in tune with myself and self-aware. And that is what I teach and that is what I talk about. And I highly, highly encourage you, if you have not done so, click the link in my bio. See all of the resources that I have when it comes to managing your emotions as you're trying to up level, as God is bringing you higher uh, relationship dynamics, overcoming all of the different things that you've gone through when it comes to relationships, healing your heart, getting back strong again so that you can bounce 
forward into your next level, definitely, definitely click the link in my bio, follow me, check out the resources so that you can be emotionally stable. And I'll add with this, if I'm not emotionally stable, that is a real big reason why God will refrain from getting me to my next level because I can't handle it so much. If I'm easily overwhelmed, if I'm easily distracted, if I'm easily offended, if I'm one that takes everything personal, if I'm a person that makes up a lot of stories and vain imaginations because she didn't like my post or they didn't call me out or I didn't get any attention, then it's going to be hard for God to trust you at the next level because the higher you go up, the more you got to be strong, baby. You got to be strong. So definitely click the link in my bio. I meant to say all of my books are on Amazon. You can download the Kindle version for both books for only $2.99 and uh, the paperback for $8.88. And if you want a personally signed copy, DM me. But in particular, when it comes to emotions, a woman's journey home, that's when I really hone in on getting yourself together as a woman of God for your next level. And my first book, Get Out of That Dead End Relationship Now, that's my personal testimony where I was strung out in a dead end relationship with a pastor, walked around with his deceased wife's ring as my engagement ring is my promise ring and I did that waiting to be married so that is the first book get out of that dead in relationship now that is an excellent book uh, for for women uh, get out of that dead end relationship hey there uh, if you're in a strung out relationship over the holidays, trying to limp through a relationship, trying to keep up appearances, but you know your relationship is a hot mess and you're just trying to, you're out there for glossing and fronting on Instagram, but you know your relationship is raggedy and it's a dead end. I highly encourage you to check out that book. Blessings to you, Jen. I thank you for being here. I'm glad this blessed you. So again, if you're not following me, definitely follow. Check out my resources. I am Tanika Maria. I'm your next level emotional healing coach, all about helping you get real, be healed, and move forward. Take care, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you for joining.